Good morning. I hope you are well. Uh, just me for morning prayer today. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be praying for churches together in Kidderminster. And uh, we will be praying for the Diocese of Fianaransoa. Fianaransoa, uh, which is in the Indian Ocean. So we'll be praying for them a little bit later on. Um, today is an ember day uh, and so that means we pray for people who are preparing for or discerning a vocation to ordain ministry as a deacon, priest or bishop and um, we pray for all ordinands uh, today um, readings for today Psalm 119 few verses in the middle of it and uh we're going to be reading from mark 13 uh old testament reading for today is second chronicles chapter 5 um and apocrypha is wisdom chapter 13 verses 1 to 9 so lots of things for your edification there morning jane good to be with you let's take a moment and then we will begin to have coffee uh, a lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise blessed are you sovereign god creator of all to you be glory and praise forever you founded the earth in the beginning and the heavens are the work of your hands in the fullness of time you made us in your image and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us, let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 119, beginning at the 57th verse. You only are my portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart. Be merciful to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and turned my feet back to your testimonies. I made haste and did not delay to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked entangle me, I do not forget your law. At midnight I will rise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all those who fear you those who keep your commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of your faithful love. Instruct me in your statutes. You have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word, O Lord. O teach me true understanding and knowledge, for I have entrusted in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are gracious and do good. O Lord, teach me your statutes. The proud have smeared me with lies, but I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Their heart has become gross with fat, but my delight is in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is dearer to me than a hoard of gold and silver. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in every faithfulness you cause me to be troubled. Let your faithful love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame, for they wrong me with lies, but I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me, even those who know your testimony. Let my heart be sound in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Mark chapter 13, beginning at the first verse. As he came out of the temple, one of the disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what large stones and what large buildings? Then Jesus asked him, Do you see these great buildings? Not one stone will be left here upon another, all will be thrown down. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us when this, tell us when will this be, and what will be the sign that all these things are about to be accomplished? Then Jesus began to say to them, Beware that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name and say, I am he, and they will lead many astray. When you hear of wars and rumours of wars, do not be alarmed, this must take place, but the end is still to come, for nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places, there will be famines. This is but the beginning of the birth pangs. As for yourselves, beware, for they will hand you over to councils, and you will be beaten in synagogues, and you will stand before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them. And the good news must first be proclaimed to all nations. When they bring you to trial and hand you over, do not worry beforehand but what you are to say, but say whatever is given you at the time. For it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you, and you hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. Let us pray. Father, we pray for all who are in the process of coming closer to an ordination, as a deacon, priest, or bishop. We thank you for the call that they have on their lives, and we ask now that you would be with them, that you would draw them in this season into a deeper relationship of prayer with you, that they would hear your voice and you would assure them of their calling. We pray that by their life and doctrine that they would set forth your true and lively word. And Father, we pray for all those who are uh, further back in the discernment process, for those who are not yet officially ordinance. We pray that you would be speaking to men and women about the vocation that you have for them, that you would be leading them. And we pray for ministers to come forward who 
who you will use to do incredible things in our nation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray in this energy crisis and this shortage of gases uh, that you would protect our nation, that you would provide for us, Lord. Uh, we pray that you would protect the most vulnerable who might be struggling to pay gas bills uh, or finding themselves struggling. We pray that you would provide for them, Lord. That you would uh, protect them uh, in the upcoming cold season. And we pray that uh, we pray for a resolution to this Lord that means that uh, we're not so reliant on gas uh, that we're not so reliant on fossil fuels uh, that you would provide for us Lord Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Father we offer to you anyone who we know who is sick in body, mind or spirit And Father, we ask that your healing hand would be with them. We pray for those around them who are caring for them, that you would bless them, that you would assure them that they are doing a good thing, that you would increase in them their compassion and their caringness and their abilities. And we pray, Lord, for those who are near to death, that you would be with them. That your peace would be with them. And if they don't yet know you. That they would ask you into their life. Lord in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We thank you Father for the lives of the faithful departed. And we take a moment to think of those who. We know for whom we're grateful who have recently died. And Father, we ask that you would comfort those who mourn their loss, that you would be with us in our grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the churches together in Kidderminster. So Father, we give you thanks for the good relationships between the Christian denom denominations across Kidderminster and for the projects overseen by Churches Together. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless those projects and you would deepen those relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the Diocese of Fianna and Stoa. Uh, Bishop Gilbert and that's Fian Trastoa in the Indian Ocean. So Father we thank you for Fian Trastoa uh, and we thank you for Bishop Gilbert and for his leadership and we ask Lord that you would bless them, that you would use them to set forth uh, your 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 word uh, that you would uh, use your faithful people as witnesses uh, as, as carers uh, as, as lovers of their neighbours Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, we beseech you mercifully to hear the prayers of your people who, who call upon you, and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power faithfully to fulfil them. Through, Christ, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life.
Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining with me this morning. I hope you have a great rest of the day.